Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting the International Church of Cannabis here in Denver, Colorado. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting the International Church of Cannabis. Cannabis, otherwise known as marijuana, weed, wacky, tobacco, amongst many other nicknames. When looking for things to do here in the Denver area, this attraction came up and I knew right then and there that I had to visit this unique location. The goal for this video is simple, to tell you a little bit more about it and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. So here we are you guys, that building behind me is the International Church of Cannabis. Interestingly enough, the building looks quote unquote normal. What I mean by this is that you could see it being a normal church. It is also located in a residential neighborhood, so it does not stand out so much when looking from the outside. But you and I know that this church is special, so let me tell you a bit more about it. The International Church of Cannabis is a weed-friendly church established on April 20th, 2017, or 420, 2017. It was established here in Denver, Colorado, the first state to legalize the recreational use of cannabis back in 2012. Church members practice elevationism, which is defined as the use of cannabis to connect to others, their community, and their own spirituality. Everyone is welcome to join the religion and there is no conversion required. For this reason, there are few rules, rituals, or symbols in the religion. The only quote-unquote requirement is to recognize cannabis as a sacred flower, capable of deepening one's spiritual journey. Church visitors can access the game slash hangout room as well as other common areas, the main congregation room, as well as a light show experience known as Beyond. Okay you guys, it's finally time for us to head inside. My first observation are the windows. You can already start to see some of the art that you will see inside. This has somewhat of a space motif. And I believe that the doors here also share that theme. Check it out you guys, I just checked in at the main visitor booth table that they have uh, downstairs at the front door and they brought me upstairs to what I can only assume is the main congregation room and let me show you. As soon as you come inside into this room, you are greeted by this amazing view. Your eyes immediately shift to the ceiling, home of this magnificent and colorful mural that surrounds the entirety of this place check this out this is really wild and very different from the outside the outside as we saw was very dark very low-key but this place is just an explosion of color as you can see and if we turn to the back we see these two characters um, i don't know what they are but i think they have beaks so maybe a bird of some kind but your guess is as good as mine. These characters, as you can see, are very surreal and very trippy. This is the second one right here, check it out. Overall, this room has a very cheerful and happy atmosphere. I think it has to do a lot with the colors and the brightness of them. It just makes you feel nice. Oh, I think I see a face of like a dog person or something. Okay, so I think that's another face as well and i'm not sure but i think i see another one right there like the two eyes right there and uh, another one over here apparently this room is surrounded by faces you can see even the colors are dripping off of the wall right there and on this window you see this big bird with its two wings on the side check it out you guys so this is the sitting area this is where you would sit if you were part of the congregation and uh, i can only imagine right at the beginning of a sermon or a worship session 
people here sitting down right scattered everywhere they don't know each other they come from different life backgrounds from different careers maybe they're shy they don't want to talk to each other at first but as soon as they start consuming the sacred plant they start like getting loose talking to each other getting along that actually does not sound too bad if i do say so myself so check it out you can see the rest of the sitting area and how it looks you can see there are more benches here more sitting areas where people can chill and they can look at each other from the different angles right here Wow, check this out, you guys. I was allowed to come here upstairs. This would be the, the third floor of this place where uh, you can find a baptismal tub. As I mentioned earlier, this used to be a Lutheran church. So they actually kept some of the same installations that they had here in the past. And if you allow me to get down here, I can show you a really cool view of the church from up here. Check this out. So. At the beginning of the video, we were down there where I was talking about the rest of the uh, installations. So this is our view from here, you guys. Check it out. I really appreciate that they let me up here to get this view for you guys. Check that out. Isn't that crazy? That's actually where I was just a few minutes ago. Uh, they don't actually let people there normally, but they allow me to go up there to take some shots to show you guys. So that's really kind of the employees of the church. It's really cool and interesting how this church, the current form that it's in, has kept some of the same installations from back in the day and from the hundreds of years of history of this location. So check it out, you guys. We are here at the main podium. As I mentioned earlier, this church rejects some of the most rigid and structured aspects of other religions. For that reason, they don't have a Bible or even a pastor, but they do have speakers come here and talk to the congregation. Some examples of speakers they brought in the past are cannabis activists and experts. And from here, you can actually get a really good view of the rest of the church. Check it out. This is the view that you get from up here. I'm about to head out because they're about to start the light show. It's called Beyond. I'll tell you more about that right now as we make our way out. As mentioned in the intro, visitors can partake in a light show and meditation experience known as Beyond. This is a one-hour immersive light show experience where an array of lights and music are accompanied by guided meditation. Access to this light show is included in your visitor ticket. The light show takes place hourly, so you can rest assured that you will be able to experience it when you visit. For more information on the Beyond Light Show experience, as well as the International Church of Cannabis, make sure to visit their website. And as we make our way down from the main worship room area, you'll make it down here to the lounge room. Let's check it out. They seem to have a lot of very interesting things. So let's see what we can find. As soon as you come in, you'll see different games. For example, this skee ball machine right here. Pretty cool. There's a ping pong table. And there's also plenty of seating spaces if you want to chill for a while. And uh, a lot of really interesting decorations. Check it out. It makes it look very unique and interesting. Check this place out. Something that caught my eye was that wall with eyes. Let's go see what it's all about. And I think that small sofa is the mouth and the lips of this wall. And check it out. The wall is 
covered in what I can only imagine are signatures from people who have visited this place in the past. This is actually not super comfy. It's actually made out of plastic, but this makes for a really good photo opportunity, don't you think? It looks very cool and the eyes seem to be looking at me. I'm gonna get one. I'm not very good at this, but I'll try my best for the video. Do you guys see that? I actually hit the 100. They also have arcade machines lined up right here with different uh, cool games like this one where you can actually drive the car in the game. There's a huge Game Boy right here that you can play. That seems very interesting. There's one here for golf. And then Galaga, of course, you cannot have an arcade room without this game. This is like one of the OGs. And last one right here, doesn't seem to be working, but it's called Centipede. There's also a TV here at the back playing footage of this aquarium. And one over there that it seems like you can play video games on. I'm gonna go try it. Okay, you guys, let's play a game. I chose Street Fighter, so let's see how I do. Over here, we have a piano that people can play. I could only imagine myself being here under the influence. This place with everything that it has, the bright colors, must really elevate the experience if you know what I'm talking about. You turn this way and you see these monochrome Ninja Turtles holding blunts, this hand chair holding a weed pillow or a baguette pillow if you prefer, and colors coming from all around this place. There is a mysterious exit door right here. Let's go see what we find in there. So our first hint is this popcorn machine. This place at the back is actually a cinema room. As you can see, they have a huge projector right there and plenty of sitting spaces. I think I've seen this man in like canned foods or something. Is he like the mascot of a big brand? Let me know in the comments. And you can see right here is the projector. I was told that they were playing a movie not too long ago. So I guess they play movies and also video games. I see some consoles, uh, the Nintendo Switch right there. And check out this really cool table. It's shaped as a controller of the Super Nintendo. And this rug right here is actually a checkers board. And don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a little hit. That's some good stuff. And check it out you guys, not everything that you can do here is inside. They actually have this open area here at the back or to the side of the building, I should say. So this is how it looks at the moment. There's a lot of chairs, a lot of tables where people come sit down and chill for a little bit. I was actually talking to one of the guys that works here and he said that this place is currently under construction. So that's why it looks like this. It's a little cramped at the moment, but they have a lot of plans. He actually used to renovate homes. So he has a lot of plans for this place. Uh, so like I said, tables and this wall right here is gonna be full with graffiti. They're gonna have some graffiti artists come here and fill this wall with beautiful art. They also host barbecues for the members. You can see there's two grills right here. And again, with the decorations here, I'm pretty sure that this place at night looks really fun. For right now, I'm gonna take advantage of this beautiful weather and sit down on this chair made out of skis. <laughs> it's kind of funny when I try to describe anything that I'm looking at, it sounds so ridiculous, but that is just what it is. It is a chair made out of skis.
And just like that, you guys, we made it to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked the video as much as I did, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.